I'm Kaylee. I work with Outlandish and we're a work co-op in Finsbury Park, sunny Finsbury Park today. I had a job that I did not enjoy at all a couple of years ago and I think I was probably one of the only left-wing people that at least spoke about politics kind of openly in the organisation. So somebody that I used to work with got in touch and said, do you want a new job? And I said, yeah. I didn't know what it was. I said, yes. <laughs> um, and it turned out it was Outlandish. And um, we were transitioning from an LLP to a cooperative during that time. So I, I came in like basically at the right moment to, to start understanding and be introduced to cooperatives. We find that the ethos is very important, so at least an appreciation of the cooperative values. You don't have to know exactly what they are, but be open to them. There's a lot of work around awareness of worker co-ops in the UK. Not a lot of people know what they are. I think I've, I meet a lot of people who are well within the co-op movement and can tell you everything, whereas my friends or kind of people on the fringes think it's a great idea but don't know what it is. Um, and then second of all, the, the processes of setting up co-ops, it's really bureaucratic. There are a handful of people in the UK who actually know how to set up a co-op. Um, and those people, I'm friends with quite a few of them, acknowledge that they're heading towards retirement soon and they need to kind of pass the baton on. So even things like that, like how do you set it up? Where do you set it up? Who do you talk to? Like, what do you need to pay? All of, all of that knowledge is not shared enough. And I understand why Thatcher brought worker co-ops to their knees. She didn't want any worker co-ops in the UK. So it's taking a battering, but it, it needs to get itself... It has got itself off, up, up onto its feet. But I think for me, the next kind of cycle is streamlining that and, and, and making it as well known as social enterprises or B Corps or uh, kind of these more modern, um, like friendly ways of doing business, worker co ops should be the first thing that people think of. We know that there's a lot of untoward stuff that goes on in tech. We know that tech is highly exploitative because of the startup kind of uh, ways of thinking, like inject some cash in, exploit your workers, sell it and get out. We, that's wrong. It's, there, is no, there is no scenario there that is positive. I think that worker co-ops could provide an alternative to that in any industry. But it's, for me, it just always goes back to this awareness. It's always going to loop back to it in some way. For our next working holiday, we are trying to come up with content for us. I see lots of people who don't trust technology, and I, I completely empathise with them. I'm kind of here to say, listen, there's an alternative, and we're, on, we're, we're going to work with you and... and um, and try and make it better, basically. We, we, work, we work in a completely transparent way with clients, with people that work with us, with people in our network, because that's just how we think it should be. It's quite interesting because Jeremy Corbyn is our local MP, and we've always had a good relationship with him, so we built his website for free when he was our local MP. Um, we supported the, the leadership campaign, and we still take care of his website now. Because we want to make the world a better place through technology, using technology, we also think that things like using data in a more accessible, understanding way is, is a positive, and it is a political thing. An example is School Cuts, which is a website that we built. It makes government data around education funding transparent, so you can look up any school in England or Wales and you can find out how much this budget is going to be cut by, basically. Um, because 91% of schools in England and Wales will have their budgets cut. And the, the government can rightly say the data is on, on, our, on the website, it's on .gov.uk website, but actually when you go on it's not accessible at all. And last election it was a real talking point, and we actually did a, a, an election special for that particular website where we put the three main party manifestos, we used their data um, to, to map how, how much they were going to cut school budgets by. So the Liberal Democrats were saying, we'll support education. Actually, they were making a lot of cuts to education. They, that, that's what they had planned to do. Labour were the only party from the three main parties who were going to give money to schools. Things like that for voters are extremely important. You can have the wall pulled over your eyes really easily. That's the power of technology and making government data. We just took it from them, you know, like... It's publicly available, making it transparent to the public. This is, this is what the general public care about. We're happy for it to be political because we think we're on the right side of politics um, and we will continue to work like that.